ejaculating regularly depletes a man of his life force, of his essence, of his energy. Hey guys, I'm Jonathan White. I'm here to help you master your sexual energy so that you can magnetize your ideal life. Semen retention is the fountain of youth. What is semen retention? Semen retention is not ejaculating constantly. It's being conscious of the fact that ejaculating regularly depletes a man of his life force, of his essence, of his energy. And so therefore semen retention is the act of retaining your semen, no longer ejaculating it frequently, holding it in your body, and using this powerful semen energy for something greater. Why would a man want to do this? So let's look at what the sperm is, what it means for the body to be creating and projecting semen constantly. Semen is the seed of the body. It's the essence of a man's body. Let's look at the plant world. What happens when plants go to seed? You know, the plant puts all of its resources into creating the seed because it needs to continue the species. That's what the function of ejaculation is. It's to continue the species. So of course, nature puts a great priority on this. The body places a great priority on creating this seed so that the species can continue. But what happens to plants that go to seed? They age quickly. They lose their juiciness, they lose their, uh, their life force. If you're into gardening, you'll notice when you keep a plant from going to seed, it lives longer than the one that goes to seed. So I believe this is how we are as humans. It takes a lot of resources for the body to be creating sperm. And when you're ejaculating constantly, when you're ejaculating every day, your body cannot keep up with this demand. So it pulls resources from all over the body, it pulls resources from the organs, you know, it takes a lot of minerals, a lot of nutrients to create semen. So it pulls these resources from the, from the organs because the organs are a rich storehouse of nutrients and minerals. And so, but the body has to create this priority, um, creating more semen. So it pulls all these resources from the organs, pulls it from the spinal fluid, from the brain fluid. And what happens is you dry up, you, you're in a depleted state because your body's trying to keep up with these high demands of all this semen that you're just ejecting out. And for what? Unless you're creating a child every time you have sex, which no one is, then it's a huge waste of all these resources and energy. And how do you feel after ejaculating? Do you feel as energized, as, as driven, as alive as you did a few moments before you ejaculated, when you were having sex, when you were fully aroused, you're charged with that sexual energy, that desire, and you're just vibrating with that powerful force, you short circuit, that energy's gone, and you're left there feeling limp, feeling limp physically, feeling limp emotionally, mentally, you probably feel very unmotivated, lethargic, you lack energy, and you may not even feel like connecting with your partner, you may feel like rolling over and going to sleep and just ignoring them versus once you if you learn how to have sex without ejaculating you stay in that state of peak energy peak arousal most men can't handle this arousal they have to eject it but when you're able to transmute that aroused sexual energy throughout your body it's so powerful you never have that crash in hormones and energy and unmotivation that you have to you spend hours or days recovering from. A lot of men feel very at a very low point for a day or two after ejaculating. But the reason they're not aware of this is because they're so used to it. They're used to ejaculating frequently and they don't see that they're in a depleted state because it's normal to them. It's their, the only reference point that they have is a state of depletion. So when you start to actually build up this energy, tremendous changes take place. You're no longer functioning in a depleted state and it becomes very apparent just how much energy you were draining by ejaculating. Once you go a week, two weeks, a month without ejaculating, you have so much more energy. 
you have so much more clarity because you're not draining the brain of all of its fluid. You're not draining the organs of all of their resources. You become an optimally functioning human, the way we were meant to be. You know, everyone talks about these nofap superpowers, and the thing is, to me, they're not superpowers. This is simply what it means to be a normal human being. But we were raised in a society of excessive sexual stimulation and programmed to blow our load every day. And this created an entire generation of weak, depleted, unmotivated, lazy men who are addicted to porn. And I'm not the only one saying this. The Taoists, the ancient Chinese masters, they knew about the benefits of semen retention, the power of the semen energy for a man. And they created this whole system of regulating that, of being able to have, still have sex without ejaculating. And to me, this is very important because it's not about suppressing your sexuality, you know, just being like, okay, no more sex, no more sexual thoughts. Nope, I just have to completely suppress these things. That is not the way, that does not work. It simply does not work. What you want to do is change your relationship to sexuality, change your relationship to sexual activity, reprogram this attachment that, we, that most men have to ejaculation. Orgasm and ejaculation are not the same thing. They are two different processes that can be separated. And what happens when you're able to separate this process, when you're able to have sex without ejaculating, it's so beneficial on so many levels. You're able to harness that sexual energy instead of ejecting it out of your body. Because when you're having sex, you're building up this tremendous amount of energy. You're building up this powerful sexual energy, and it's very apparent by the way you feel in that peak arousal state. But when you ejaculate, you short circuit, you lose it all. You just ejaculate it out and it's gone. But when you can harness that energy, when you can move it through your body, exchange it with your partner and store it in your body, you store that sexual energy, you store that aroused, powerful, expansive, creative energy. And this is what is so beneficial to our health, to our happiness, everything. So what happens when a man is constantly ejaculating? He throws away his energy reserves. And the reason that most men don't realize it is because they have so much energy. You know, we're, we're born with so much energy, so much of the sexual vitality. And in our teenage years, it's not apparent that this is not a bottomless well. It's not apparent that it's limited the amount of resources that we have because we, as we go through puberty and we begin to feel sexual arousal, we can just ejaculate over and over and it doesn't seem like we're losing anything, but eventually this catches up with us. Why do so many men in their 30s and 40s, some, some even younger nowadays, are, why are they having all these sexual issues? All of these sexual dysfunctions, erectile dysfunction, premature ejaculation, because they've spent their sexual vitality recklessly. They've just thrown it away. It's like you're born with a million dollars and you, th you think you're never going to run out. So you just spend and spend and spend this money, but all of a sudden you run out of money. So this is exactly the same for men. We have this reservoir of vitality, of sexual energy, but when you spend it recklessly, it's gone. And by the time most men realize this, it's too late. You know, when you're having health problems, when you're having chronic fatigue and all of these things, you know, it's, you have to do a lot more work to get back that energy that you've thrown away. So by regulating your ejaculation, by retaining your semen, you can stay young, you stay youthful, you stay healthy, energized, full of vitality. This became extremely apparent to me as I was practicing senior retention. I used to be very lazy, very unmotivated, and you know, I was addicted to porn, I was masturbating every day, I was ejaculating every day. And once I began practicing semen retention, my energy levels increased significantly. I have more energy now, I'm now 30, I have more energy now than I did when I was 18 years old. I'm not even kidding, because 
at that time in my life, I didn't know how to regulate my energy. I ejaculated my energy outwards. You know, I wasn't eating healthy. I wasn't living a right life. So when you stop ejaculating constantly, you start to slow your biological clock down because the body's not working overtime to be constantly producing new sperm that you're constantly ejaculating out. You're able to maintain your energy. You're no longer tapping into your reserves. Your energy is building up. And this becomes very apparent when you practice semen retention. It was very obvious for me. When I first got into semen retention, I would go a week without ejaculating. And even that was a significant amount for me in the beginning. And so as I started going longer and longer, you know, the benefits just imp improve. Your energy level improves, your, your magnetism, your ability to influence others. Everything is just enhanced because you're radiating this powerful life force energy and you're not living in a state of depletion. People often think I'm in my early 20s, you know, I'm 30 years old. And most men I meet who do practice semen retention, they look a lot younger than their age. So if you want to slow down the aging process, stop spitting out your life force. That's all you're doing when you're ejaculating, you're spitting out your life force. And it's very unnecessary. You can still have sex, you can still have orgasms, but you don't have to ejaculate. You can separate orgasm from ejaculation. This is a very critical point here. The unconscious man uses sex to discharge his energy, to release his tension. The evolved man uses sex to build up energy, to enhance all aspects of himself and share his energy with his partner. Are you an evolved man or an unconscious man? Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment below. Have a great day, my friends.